Hello viewers, welcome to another very interesting video. In this tutorial, we will learn the key differences between slip ring or wound rotor induction motor and squirrel cage induction motor. Construction-wise, squirrel cage motor has a rotor made of a cylindrical core with conductive bars. The bars are shorted at both ends by end rings, resembling a squirrel cage. Slip ring motor has insulated windings with slips rings and brushes for external connections. The starting of squirrel cage is simple, for example direct online starting. Whereas, the slip ring motor requires external resistance for soft starting. Starting torque of squirrel cage motor is low as compared to slip ring motor. Speed control of squirrel cage motor is done using different starting methods, whereas, speed control in slip ring motor is achieved by varying resistance connected with slip rings. Squirrel cage motor is more efficient as compared to slip ring motor. Squirrel cage motor requires low maintenance due to simple construction, whereas slip ring motor requires periodic maintenance of slip rings and brushes. Cost-wise, squirrel cage motor is less costly, whereas slip ring motor is more costly. Squirrel cage motor is most commonly used in low torque applications like fans, pumps, compressors, etc. Whereas, slip ring motors are used in cranes, elevators, and crushers. Starting current of squirrel cage motor is high, as compared to slip ring motor due to soft start capability. Stator winding in both motors is same. In squirrel cage motor, no external resistance can be connected with rotor, whereas, in slip ring motor, external resistance with rotor is required for starting torque and speed control etc. Noise level in squirrel cage motor is low, whereas, the noise level is high due to use of brushes and slip rings. I hope you clearly understand the differences between squirrel cage motor and slip ring or wound rotor induction motors. For more interesting videos, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.